Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on determining the volume of a prism. Now a prism is just a 3D solid such that wherever you chop that solid you see the same shape. So I would see this front shape here wherever I chop that 3D solid. And that shape there is known as the cross section of the prism. And the volume of a prism has a relatively simple formula. It's just this. It's the area of the cross section multiplied by the length of the prism. So in this case, that's the cross section and that's the length of the prism. So for this first example, we just need to simply do the area of that cross section, which is 20, multiplied by the length of that prism and 20 times 4 is 80. And let's get the unit right, it's a volume and these are in centimetres or centimetres squared, so we end up with centimetres cubed because that's a unit of volume involving centimetres. Now B, this is a bit harder. We've got this cross section at the front here and then wherever we chop that 3D solid we see that same shape here and that is a parallelogram. Now what is the area of the parallelogram? Now remember we can just simply do the base of the parallelogram and times it by the perpendicular height. We explore this in a different video and that will give you the area. So we just simply do 3 times 2 and that will be the area of that front shaded shape. So that's 6 centimetres squared and that means the volume of the prism is just the area is just the area of the cross section, not cross sector sorry, which is 6 multiplied by the length which is 5 and that gives us 30 centimetres cubed. And finally, what's the cross section this time? Well, it's this front shape here, which is a triangle. Now, the area of a triangle is just the base times the height divided by 2. So it's the base of 6, multiply the perpendicular height of 4 and divide by 2. 6 times 4 is 24, divided by 2 is 12, so that area is 12 centimetres squared, and therefore the volume of that prism is going to be the area of the cross section, which is 12, multiplied by the length of the prism, which is that length there, that's 3 centimetres, and that is going to give you 36 centimetres cubed.